everybody, welcome one and all back to some more Inscription. In the last episode, which was a bit of a fluke in my opinion, because no one watched it, but that's okay, okay people? Like, that's okay. Every now and again I'll get a video that doesn't do well and just has no one watch it, but that's okay. It happens every now and again. So in case you didn't watch it, uh, or if anyone didn't watch it, let me explain what happened. But we took on the entirety of Area 1, which is the grass area. We rematched Leshy and his crew. And that's about it. Uh, get out of here. Notifications. Anyway, so. Uh, so, off camera. I did some thinking. Uh, if we go Ultra Deck. Now, because I watched it, I didn't get any suggestions. But I had an idea of, like, a strategy. So, I was thinking of, like, a mix with magics. So what I would do is I would have, like, instead of having, like, I'll probably have cheap cards, like these sentries, to fight. But what I'm thinking is I do a combination of, instead of bones, I do, like, a bit of a magics com combo. At least, like, maybe one card for, like, magics, but... That means I could use the Ruby Golem. So I'm going to take out the... I'll probably take out the... Zombie. And one of these skeletons. I'll put these two in. So I've got a bit of a mess of a deck here. So we'll see how this goes because... Remember, I'm not good at this game. And what we're going to do is... I'm going to actually go take on the Magic's Temple. Like, Tower. This time for this one okay uh all right let's see do a notice all right the note reads greetings if you are reading this it must be because you wish to challenge me magnificus to a card battle but in order to earn that privilege you must first defeat my three graduate students as for their whereabouts that is for you to discover sincerely magnificus so it's a bit of a okay uh a door in here. Oh, it's the trader. Okay. Uh, you wish to trade? Okay. What is this? Bleen Mox. Provides a blue gem to its owner. Oh, it provides a blue and a green gem. Okay. Uh, here's the Ruby Mox. Uh, Stim Mage. Pay three energy to increase the power and health of. Huh. Blue Mage. When Blue Mage is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side of the board. Okay. Interesting. I have remember, like, I was looking at, like, some of those, like, you know, those weird infinite strategies some people come up with. Uh, the Stim Mage is actually a part of that, but I don't have enough cards to actually get the Stim Mage, so we'll come back to that. In a way, all right. Okay. The inside of the chest is covered in a sticky green goo, but you find a card pack. Okay. Blue Mox. Master Garangi. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Mage People. Okay. The Cat! Oh, the Cat is here! Okay, you know what? Um, actually, I'm willing to take out the... I'll take out one of my sentry drones for that. I'm actually on the deck. Okay, here we go. The cat's actually powerful, if you guys remember, because it's infinite lives. So you're going to be getting a lot of, you know, use out. Let's see. A strange monocle. You put it on. Oh. Okay. Um. What does that do? Oh! Oh, I see. So there's the skull. Wing. Skull. Okay. Let's see. Skull. Oh, here we go. Wing. Skull. Oh! Hi. You must be the graduate student. Oh, the pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. Oh, this is Goober. The, the, um, 
the, the, the slime. Okay. Uh, from the the first part, you know, that jar of slime. That's this guy. Do you see Magnificus turn me into Urgh, goo for my final exam? I just need to defeat one more challenger. Then, then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of the master as one of his prize cards. Urgh, nothing will stop me. And I fight him. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh. I get a clover. Is that supposed to reshuffle my hand? That's probably what it does. Oh, it's at the start of battle. Oh, okay. I see how it works. All right. All right. So, we're going to do this. Oh, wait. Hang on a sec. Oh. That's not a good thing. Okay. So we're going to sack. Get a bit of damage on the board. Okay, so these all do one damage. Okay. Definitely not good. Oh, there's a squirrel ball, but I don't want to use it. So, here we go. Take you out. Oh, and there's another one out coming out. Okay. Uh, so I'll deploy a skeleton. And then the skeleton. The squirrel ball at the moment isn't going to be helpful, so we'll just let that play out. Okay, and there goes that. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not good. I can't play anything else. Because I don't have enough bones. Okay. So it takes out... Oh, damage over to the back. Okay. Uh, there's the cat. Actually, you know what? Here's what I can do. Boom. Boom. And then, oh, it's the mocks. Okay, well, I can't play that one. All right. So then I do this, and I place you here. Place you here, and then I'm gonna do this. Okay. So let's just quickly check. So I'm gonna do some math. So two, four. That would do four. But what I can do is this. Take you out. Five. I get two extra foils. There we go. No, oh, please. Please just tell the master I passed. He won't know the difference. Here, take this pack. Wow. Okay. Uh, Ruby Mox. Oh, no, that's a Sapphire Mox. Or lose Mox. Uh, oh, this provides an orange and a blue gem. Uh, another blue mage, an adder, and a grizzly. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll put these away. Here, I can open the door for you. There we go. Voila. Uh, okay, first, I want to quickly go into the deck. Uh, and I will want to place in my deck... Um, the Orlu's Mox. Because that's basically a Ruby Mox, but I get a Sapphire Axis as well. Which doesn't help me at the moment. I also want to get the Blue Mage into my hand. But I'll think about it. All right. Or... Here's a better idea. Uh, actually, no, I'll keep it. No, we'll, we'll do what we got. Okay. So, what is this? The tummy stares lifelessly back at you. Then, suddenly, it springs into motion. Oh, it's a... A 
It's a fight. Oh. Interesting. Uh, feel mice reproduce. Uh, if a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. Oh, I see. Okay, so that can't do it. All right, so we take those two out. I get one in. Okay, there goes that. And we're gonna do it again. And then I guess squirrel. That doesn't help me in any way. Oh, it's a farming opportunity! Okay, I see. The dummy's hinges creak back into position and it returns to its lifeless stay. Stare. Okay, that doesn't help us. Uh, there's a chest here. Found a car back amongst a heap of sharp objects? I didn't read that. I just clicked. All right. Um, Garangi's mocks. Okay. Wolf cub. Ooh, okay, that could be an interesting one. Uh, ghost ship. Okay. Fair enough, we'll take those. Garangi's. Oh! Oh, I found it! Practice Mage has uh, dropped a point. Okay. So, practice mage. So, it's Skull! Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna write this down because we're gonna be here a while. Uh, notepad. Um. Oh, right. Save that. Alright. So, if I type in Skull. Alright. Okay. So that's one thing. Uh, I've got a pointless squirrel I can play. And I've got another squirrel I can play. I'll just boop them. Oh, for God's sake! There's a symbol in there! And it's a shovel! Okay, let's write that down. So, skull... Shovel. But where's the last one? Oh! Oh! And then it's the push sigil. Okay, so I'm just gonna type in, um... Arm. Okay! We now have the three combinations! Jesus, this is gonna be interesting to try and edit. Okay. Uh... I'll just let you do your thing. Alright. And then we do... Skeleton. Do this. You reproduce. Alright, let's see. Mantis. Okay, hang on. So two, three, four... Okay, it doesn't matter which way it goes. Blah. Okay. So the question is, how does the combo work? So it is. So we saw skull, shovel, arm. Okay, so that's not it. Shovel, skull, arm. No. Skull, shovel. track of these. Okay. Uh, I need... Let's see. Okay, so, skull shovel arm. That doesn't work. Arm, shovel, skull, skull, shovel arm, shovel, arm, skull, I 
something's not right. Yeah, that's a shovel. Okay. So. Push. So the arm shovel go. Okay. Uh... Oh my god, it was a red herring?! Oh, for the... It's got... The shovel was a red herring! Really?! It's skull, push, fly! Ugh... Alright, but I need a card to actually... Okay, push... For God's sake, it was a red herring! The pause menu one was a red herring! Gods! Okay. What happened to you? Oh. Just imagine you are an ice cube slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh. I was only talking to myself. The pain of being, a uh, head impaled with a, on a spear is, well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. Are you sure about that? Because you're just a head on a stick! I will be the centerpiece of his deck. Well, actually, before I do go any further, let me close out the... that. Okay. Oh, it's a fight! Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh. Mage Knight. If Mage Knight... Oh, hang on. Here's an idea. <laughs> and then... Do you perish... When Ruby Golem perishes, a Ruby... Oh, okay, I see what it is. Alright. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the Field Mice there. And then... You get a free shot. Oh, you get a turn. Okay. Um... Alright, so we're going to do this. I'm going to put the cat here. Alright, and then... There goes that. Wait, what? Oh, because you're a mox! And I got both field mice. Cock. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh. Okay. Not funny. Okay, I got a skeleton now. Alright, so I can do this skeleton. And then... I could get enough bones to summon Frankenstein. Yeah, if I do this... I place you. Oh, but I don't get to play Frank and Stein. Okay. Well, actually, here's what I can do. Sacrifice you two. Place this one down. Then Frank! Okay, so let's just see. Two, four, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is five. Wait, no, hang on, no, better idea. Ha-ha! Overkill! Boom! Sixteen foils. Okay, I've made a perfect deck. I don't know how this is going to work, though. Hmm, perhaps I will not be central to his strategy. I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have master disappointment. Take this pack. I mean, I wouldn't mind using you as a team. It's just, I don't know. I'll, okay, an orange mage. And 49er. Huh. Interesting. Go. Alright, let's go forwards. 